This is a Dell J727N 2700-watt uh, RVA UPS unit, which I trash-picked some time ago, and I just figured we'd try and hook this thing up to something and see if it does anything. I'm assuming, just of a blind faith, that this thing wants some batteries before it starts, and I didn't get any in it, which is... Uh, thankful for my own back, uh, but that also means that I don't have any pinouts for anything, so I figured I'd try and measure that out. I think I removed all the screws to the case, so we should be able to get a clue of what's inside. There we go. Uh, I'm surprised to see one of those. This seems to be a traditional transformer-based unit. Uh, for most Dell UPSs I've had apart have been uh, more modern and tireless switch mode units and uh, while they often do have transformer looking AVR componentry this is, this is way too big to be anything of that nature so this is definitely a transformer based UPS which is kind of cool I like these, they tend to be very simple in their design reminiscent of APC units this thing actually isn't made by Dull directly. Uh, it is labelled uh, Lian Zeng Electronics Jensen. So it's a bit Chinese, but it seems to be, at least from a from a cursory look, a relatively high quality. And above all, this thing seems to be quite uh, new and fresh because. There isn't really even any dust in the fan, and I haven't cleaned this. So, uh, there's actually a fair, fair chance that this thing won't work when I try and power it up. Because it doesn't seem to have seen much use. It doesn't seem to have anything obviously exploded inside, though. That's a kind of shabby looking thing there, just a heap of mobs. Wrapped in shrink wrap. Hmm. Now we've got a big transformer in there, it seems. Hmm. So maybe this is some kind of little things, partly switch mode, partly traditional. Who knows? But I've just got to. Well, it's pretty obvious what's going to be what in this uh, connector, which is the external battery connector. <laughs> Black, red, and green, so. We've got our pinot drive there, no need to measure anything, so let's uh, get some power into it and uh, see if it would like to do anything. Alright, got a couple of leads going to the power supply, and this is a 9 to 6 volt UPS, and the fellow says, yes indeed. So let's see if we can get any live hate of it. Mm -hmm. Seems to charge the cap, so we probably don't have a busted fuse. Is it going to do anything? Well, that's the power button. Dell. Let's see if we've got enough juice to start the inverter. Hmm. Actually, I don't know how to turn one of these these on. I have a smaller one, like 500 VA or something. Hmm. Is it gonna power up? Oh yeah, now we've got something. There we go. 231 volts. Is it actually so? Yeah. It does indeed seem as if we've got some output. Crying about 400 milliamps. Damn it, I was hoping this thing would be broken. There could still be something horribly wrong with the primary though, like a broken battery charger or something of the likes. So I'm going to try the work of art, which is uh, trying to quickly disconnect my power supply in case the battery charge isn't isolated and 
flicking the switch. Whack. Too slow. Doesn't seem to be doing anything though. Can we pair it on? No. Probably needs a battery, so I'm gonna have to check if the battery is live. And while we do have some voltage between the battery negative and the case of the unit, this is definitely not live territory. So, yeah, I feel confident hooking this up mains with a power supply connected. This thing can only handle 300 volts peak to ground, so since the European grid peaks at 3, 325, it wouldn't be a nice thing to do to connect that to a floating ground connected straight to mains. Okay, mains take two. Let's see if we we'll get any smoke. Pay supply, I don't care, I've been smoke. <laughs> okay, that, that, was, that was a big noise. We blew out of the breaker, which is not entirely unexpected since this is a 16 amp unit and I've just got a 10 amp grid. Well actually since my UPS is still on it, it actually just blew out of the ground fault interrupter so I might have to isolate that one properly in case there's some leakage. Alright, the page part's now running. Half of an inverter, it's got no ground, so take three or something. If this doesn't work, I'm just bypassing my ground fault interrupter because it's overly sensitive as it is. Yeah, that worked out better. And, uh, we do have battery charge voltage, 108.5 volts. Hmm. Well, bummer. Is this thing really going to just work perfectly? Can I get output voltage? There we go. It's working. Everything's just working. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just have to put this thing into use then. So, can it actually power anything? We've got a 160 watts and light bulbs there. I don't know how fresh a battery in that thing is, but uh, we'll give it a go. Uh, hang on, we're actually drawing 300 watts. Shouldn't be drawing that much. We've got. Well, that's ridiculous. Oh, we've got another light there. That explains everything. There we go. That should be 160 watts. And yeah, 211 in, and this thing idle at about 60, so. Let's see what it does. I tried. Valiant effort. We just don't have enough juice in the power supply, so let's get rid of the light. There we go, just a single 60 watts. Drawing 120, so beyond the 60 watt uh, idle power, this thing seems to be quite efficient anyway. Let's try and better repair it again. Yeah, there we go. I think that's right. Shut up, will you? That well, seems to be quite efficient too. Growing water, 105 watts exactly. For a 60 watt light bulb, well, yeah, that's not too, too efficient, but just, I mean, it's more efficient than it was uh, running with the mains. When it's used 120, so that's something, I suppose. I mean, this thing does look reasonably modern. I mean, I would wage it's. And probably even a 2010s unit. I'm not certain how the current design Dell UPSS looks, but I mean, I, yeah, it's got a proper LCD and stuff, so this thing can't be too old. Hmm, the thing is very far away. I'm willing to bet that since this thing is one of these silly high voltage battery units, it just kind of suffered 
one bad battery and they kind of didn't troubleshoot it properly and then they just threw it away because it's cheaper to buy a new one. Well look what we've got in there. You can't build anything with a 555 timer. I also did find a couple of date codes in it. Uh, this I see there says 11.30 and uh, one of the guys on that PCB there says uh, uh, probably not going to show up on camera, but it says 11.22 So this is probably going to be a late 2011 unit <laughs> So it's what, 4 or 5 years old? It's crapped Can't be anything but batteries The general build quality of this thing seems to be pretty okay We've got the mains coming straight into a couple of pretty nice chokes there and goes right into the main board for all this protection and filtering stuff and then it basically just becomes what's that three different switch made power supplies that one's probably a battery charger and uh, it gets filtered through I, I think all the caps are Jamicon in it this is a 160 volt 1200 microfarads and yeah all the other little tiny caps are Blue and brown Jemicon Zoo. Nothing to write home about, but it could be a lot worse. It's smack full of all of these weird shaped relays, although I think there's actually some standard for these. So they're, they're, they're probably not too, too difficult to get your hands on. They seem to be Song Chan brand, which uh, actually, as far as I know, is a pretty big manufacturer. I've seen them in a lot of different places. We've got a USB board there, a communications board just here on USB. Nothing really too fancy going on, not that we could see anything. Uh, this is our smart slot equivalent. Output, I think these support two or three output zones. Oh, well, here too, we've got load zone one there and load zone two there. So that's a nice feature. I don't. I'm not certain if APC offer anything similar in their same size units. One of the things which uh, I don't usually like about these uh, Dell and uh, often Powerway units is that they run the fans continuously all the time. They don't run at full speed, but yeah, you don't get any passive cooling whatsoever. They do seem to have an affinity for those little pop-out boards everywhere. Though. I'm not certain if I like that too much. I don't seem to be really supported by anything other than the connector. Hmm. That seems to be a pretty okay unit anyway. Oh, but oh dear. You shouldn't trust strangers because I just measured this thing and it only got four leads coming out of it. And all of these go together. So this is just an auto transformer. It's not an isolating transformer. Hmm. So unless uh, the isolation is achieved in that thing there, there's no isolation between primary and secondary, i.e. the battery. Yeah. Naughty, naughty. Very naughty indeed. I was about to measure the output waveform just for kicks in order to see if it's clean, but hmm, I'm gonna have to reconsider. Need to take another approach. Yes, indeed. The battery is most certainly not isolated from the main output of this thing. Uh, what I've done is I've connected the negative so-called battery lead straight to main surf at which my scope of is of course also connected so and now I'm probing the positive output of the live output so to speak of the UPS and uh, we're getting a very clear half sound there so yeah th this thing is basically <laughs> just connecting the battery straight through to the main output so yeah, running an external battery to this thing is no 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 not exactly safe in fact 
I've basically got a 160 volts AC in this case of this thing right now so I sh should really take a proper step back and uh, try not to kill myself hmm what a disappointment I was really hoping that this would be an APC style unit where that's just a giant isolation transformer but uh, that's obviously not the case Beyond that, though, the output seems to be of pretty okay quality. Really clean sign there. No high frequency crap to talk about. So, at least it gets an A plus on the output quality. But uh, an F minus on the hobbyist friendly hacking quality. Well, that out of the way, I guess there isn't much left to do but to just put this thing back together. I'm a bit torn about it. It's, I mean, it's a very modern unit. So, if there's a big unit I'm going to use for myself, I would probably pick this. But I don't feel like splurging for eight new batteries for it. Well, that's going to be a bit over a hundred euros, probably close to two hundred. And I don't really feel like uh, putting eight of the big batteries into use just in order to power this thing because that would be such a ridiculously large UPS that uh, I mean it would it wouldn't have much value aside from being ridiculously large, and it would be kind of dangerous since the battery charger seems to be not entirely isolated from the mains so I would have to construct some kind of thing to prevent people and animals from touching the terminals of the batteries because I wouldn't want to murder anyone <laughs> I actually kind of hate coming, coming across units like this because I've got to three or four giant UPS, yeah, four giant UPS is sitting around now and I've got no use for them and they really, locally there's no second-hand market for these at all and this one actually comes from a place where I've agreed not to resell the stuff anyway so the options for this thing is to either be used by me personally or be destroyed, scrapped huh. could you believe it? And I, I'm not going to scrap this unless there's some real specific thing I need. <sighs> and I don't really have a use for it. If this thing was able to run entirely passively, and I've checked the manual, it says that it does turn the fans off when there is, uh, in quote marks, no load. But, uh, I mean, if if it's to be used, for instance, in a workshop, then, then there's all, always, you know, a couple hundred watts of load when I'm down here. So there's really, well, that's a no-go. So I, I'd either have to suffer through the very loud fan noise, which I don't really, quite fancy, or I'd have to stow it away somewhere where it can't be heard, and uh, my options in this room are kind of limited. There's no real storage space which I would be able to rate any cables into. Hmm. What a world, what a world. I guess those are just going to have to go on the shelf, sit around with the other giant UPSs and wait for its fate. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.